package that I got in the mail straight from Hong Kong. Got it off of eBay, $11, free shipping. Um, it took 14 days to get here. So, it's quite a while. As you can see on the customs label, it is a gift and it is a joystick. Oh, Chinese people. All right. What do we have here? Um, the easy cap. USB. Uh, audio. S video composite. Video. That goes there. USB extender cable. Infinite loop. <laughs> this is pretty useful because the easy cap is big and it might block other USB ports. Um, instruction manual. Easy cap video adapter with audio quick installation guide. Uh, it is all in English. And the English seems to be pretty well done, which is kind of disappointing. Because I know everybody loves English. Um, haven't read it yet. You probably don't need to read it. But, you could. Don't know what it says. Don't really care either. And, what else? The driver CD. This has drivers and the included software. As you can see, the driver model number says DC60. Now there's a newer version of the Easy Cap called the DC60 Plus. Um, I think the differences are it comes with 64-bit drivers, so it, so it'll work on a 64-bit operating system. Um, I think it can do PAL60. I'm not exactly sure what that is because I don't live in a PAL region. And this has ULED Video Studio version 10 on it. Depending on who you get it from, it'll come with a different version of Video Studio. Recommend just buying it from a seller that will give you version 10 of the software just because it's the newest. That is it. That is what you will see when you get your easy cap. Alright, there are a few different ways you can hook up your easy cap. If you're using it to convert a VHS or something similar to that, then you can just plug the VCR or your camcorder or whatever directly into these and then just plug it into your computer and you're good to go. But, if you want to do video games, then you have some other options that you might want to consider. The first is just to plug your video games directly into the Easy Cap. I have S-Video cables for my Wii, and I'll just plug in the audio, both channels, right channel, left channel, and as you can see, they're S-Video cables, and you don't have to use both of these. If you use the S-Video, you don't have to plug in the composite video. And the S-Video does give you significantly better video quality. And later on in the video, I'll go over that and show you the difference. So you just plug that in. And that's pretty much what it looks like. Or, unless you're using composite video, that'll be plugged in. Alright, that is one option. If you do this, you'll be playing the video game on your computer screen and there can be some delay I go over that later in the video so you can fast forward if you want the second option is to hook it to both your TV and your computer monitor now this is a good setup because there's not going to be any delay on your TV and you can capture the video with your easy cap of course there are two ways to do this there's the right way 
and the wrong way. The right way is to get a video distribution amplifier, which I don't have. Um, it's a device that has one video input and a bunch of video outputs, and it actually boosts the signal so that there's no signal loss, so that you can send it to multiple sources. I think you can get one at Radio Shack for about 50 bucks. That's the proper way to do this. I do it the wrong way, which is I literally just split the video signal in half, which if you read any audio video forum, they're going to tell you it's terrible and that's the wrong way to do it, but it works and this is an $11 device, so I don't think we're going exactly top of the line here. What I use is this RCA S video splitter. This cost me about $8. Got it a few years ago. You can have multiple inputs and then plug that to your TV and you select which one with these buttons. But we can use this in reverse. If we reverse this, I have my Wii right here. If we reverse this and have the input plugged into the output spot, oops, that's the wrong cable. Just plug in that and then the S video. S video is always a pain to plug in. Got to line up the marks and we're good. Alright, now the Wii is plugged into the output spot. Now what we can do is basically plug in the devices we want to connect it to right here. These audio cables go to my TV. Alright, so let's plug it in. It doesn't matter which spot you plug it into. You just plug it in. S-Video. Audio. All right, and these wires go to my TV. Here's another set of audio and S-Video cables. Now these are going to my computer via the Easy Cap. So what I do now is I just plug these in to another one of the video input. Just plug them in. These buttons right here, if I push this button, it'll send it to that. If I push this button, it'll send it to that. However, if I hold down both buttons, as you can see, they both stay down. The video is now coming in here and going out both of those. It is effectively splitting it in half the wrong way, but it works. You can do it. Here you can see that both the video and audio has been split. You can see the same thing on both the TV on the right and the computer monitor on the left. And you can also see that there's very little video delay, but there is a little bit of audio delay. But I've noticed that the audio delay is only when watching the preview live, not in captured footage. The physical installation of the Easy Cap is really simple. It's just like everything else we've been doing. You just connect the cables. Make sure you have the S video lined up. There we go. Plugged in. Now all that's left to do is plug the Easy Cap into an available USB port. Or the way I like to do it. I use the USB extender. It gives me a little bit more slack with the cables. And as you can see, as soon as you plug the Easy Cap in and it has power, this green LED lights up. To install the software side of the Easy Cap, open your DVD drive and put in the driver CD.